welcome. So um, we are going to be looking at our song De Colores and today we are going to be adding some visuals and props to our song. And I'll explain that in a minute. But first, we do have a joke of the day. Um, we have a lot of people in this house where we're living right now, our family, who love Hamilton. And so if you notice, Isad is wearing a shirt that has an idea from Hamilton. Um, but do you want to explain it? Yeah. So there's a song that's called The Room Where It Happens, and it's supposed to be like a joke. And instead, it's a Zoom where it happens because of Corona. Yeah, so since there's a lot of Zooming, we thought you guys might enjoy the shirt because you're Zooming all the time in school right now. And we're so proud of you. You're working so hard. So this joke today is the Zoom where it happens, okay? Um, so we are going to talk about using these props and these visuals for the song for the colores. So what we do and what I'd like you to think about this week too, after you see this video, is choosing some of the words from the song and then finding something in your house or drawing a picture of that word. And you don't have to choose the same words that we choose today, but I'm gonna show you some of the words that we chose and how we did this. So um, we chose the word primavera, which means spring. And so for our prop, we grabbed a plant in our house because it reminds us of springtime when plants are growing. Okay, so that one is primavera. And the next one is pajaritos, which means little birds. And so we found a little bird that, that goes on our lawn, and we're going to use that as our prop for pajaritos. And the next word we chose is arco iris, and that is a rainbow. And so um, we found a little pillow that Isad's sister made that has a rainbow on it, arco iris. And the next word after that we chose is amores, and amores is love, and Isad has, how many hearts are in there? Three. I think three hearts right there for amores, okay? And now the, the last words that we have, we could not find something in our house that was like an object, so we printed out a picture and colored it in. Um, and you don't have to print out a picture, you could also just draw a picture of it or find a picture in a magazine. And so the first word that we chose was gallo, and that means rooster. So that's a picture of a rooster. And the second word um, is gallina, and that means hen. And the last one is polluelos, which means little chicks, okay? So we're going to try to put it all together. We're going to be using our props and holding them up when that word comes up in the song, okay? So if you want to pause this and... Get all these props ready for your own song, you can. Or if you wanna watch the whole video and then do this after, you can do that too, okay? And if you know the words in Spanish, then um, you can gather the props. And if you don't know the words in Spanish, then you can look at the translation to see which words mean which and um, use the translation to help you choose the words in Spanish, okay? So either way. Um, so let's get started. to sing all together if you want to sing with us.
Javis home. High five to my helper. So um, this week, um, go ahead and see if you can find some props for this song. Choose your words. And if you don't have something at home, find a picture in a magazine or draw a picture of it. And um, if you would like to share it with me, I would love to see the things that you find. And you can either sing with your props, just like we did, or you could play the recording um, that I send you of the kids singing, and you could have that on in the background, and then hold up your props while um, you have the singers too singing with you. And finally, if you wanna try this with a different song altogether and add some props or some visuals for a different song, you could do that too and um, share your music with me. And keep up the great work. You guys are working so hard at home. We are so proud of you. And we'll see you next time.